here in Tokyo Station boarding a Shinkansen, or bullet train, headed for Osaka. I reserved my seat in a green car, which is essentially the first class of bullet trains. You get a bit more space, privacy, and comfort. You can see there's an integrated reading lamp, as well as heated seats. How about that? It should make for a comfortable and enjoyable three hour trip. Behold, Mount Fuji with no clouds, a somewhat rare sight. to my room in Osaka. This is the Hotel Grand Via Osaka. It's right at Osaka Station, which is super convenient. A little bit more room than I had in Tokyo, that's for sure. There's the bathroom. Everything's a bit more modernized. Yeah, it wasn't that expensive either. This here is a bidet toilet. Apparently a Linux or a Linux. And over here are the controls for it. Sometimes they're located alongside the toilet, on like a uh, control bar, but uh, this one is actually wireless, so you can carry it while you're doing your duty. Anyway, let's see if we can show the wand to come out and spray without getting the bathroom soaked. All right, so first up, you can't tell, but this is all heated, which is really nice. So right here we've got, looks like a female symbol. So the wand comes out from the back a little further to spray for females. That's just for both sexes and then the stop button. So let's try it. That 
spray in the face. Perfect. But you can see. We press the stop button. Double tracks. And for females, you've got a separate wand dedicated. That's it. And it looks like you can also adjust the pressure low to high. That's your, uh, your fancy bidet. After getting settled in my hotel room, I took a short walk over to the Umeda Sky Building, which has an observatory at the top floor, allowing you to have a bird's eye view of Osaka in every direction. For my first meal in Osaka, I walked to a nearby female-owned ramen shop, which is a rarity in Japan, known as Ramen Chomage. This is Yui's second location, opened in November of 2023, about a month prior to my arrival. Per Yui's recommendation, I went with the Ramen Zero, which is a lighter, healthier ramen, and it still tasted great. At the top there, you can see the bonito flakes moving with the heat of the dish. They are essentially grated dried fish. Another popular item she recommended was the egg fried rice. This was also delicious. The food was good, the price was right, had a chill vibe. Definitely recommend checking it out if you're ever in the area. For late night food and drinks in Umeda, I found this izakaya down a side alley off a main walking street. It was called Sumiyaki and Kamameshi Sakaguchi. It had a cool retro vibe going on and a great place to meet locals. I unknowingly sat next to the owner her son manning the grill, and her daughter running the bar area. I ordered the Yaki Tori, the Yaki Niku, and some drinks. Definitely recommend checking it out for a less touristy spot. I'm here in Osaka Station, headed for the subway that will take me to the Namba District of Osaka. I'll be doing a two-hour tour by go-kart. Let's go. The carts? Yeah, the 
good. I'm here at Akiba Cart Osaka near Namba in the Naniwa Ward. We'll take you for a one or two hour tour through the streets of Osaka, morning, day, or evening. And if you feel so inclined, they offer a variety of onesie outfits of all different characters that you can wear during the tour for a bit of fun. These go-karts are a bit quicker than the ones I'm used to back in the States. Alright, here we go. Kaya Toyo, that's Chef Toyo. He became famous on a Netflix special called Street Food Asia on the Osaka Japan episode. Uh, you can tell his uh, playful and charismatic uh, personality with his giant flaming torch that he cooks his food with has drawn a lot of attention. You can see the lines back there. Pretty crazy. This is Chef Toyo's signature dish, braised tuna cheek torched to perfection. It had a nice sear on it and was incredibly tender and juicy and had a lot of good flavor to it. I ended up having lunch next to Anne, a solo traveler from Thailand who was exploring Osaka. 
Always nice to make friends through food. I walked about a half hour to my southwest to visit Osaka Castle. The castle itself is set back pretty far, separated from the main road by many moats and stone walls. Its many gold accents lit up beautifully in the setting sun. Later on in the evening, I took a trip down to America Mura, or America Town. Basically a neighborhood that celebrates American culture. It had a bit more of a laid-back, rebellious kind of attitude, even for Osaka when compared against Tokyo. It was quite strange seeing Japanese locals driving American classics on the streets of Osaka. Pretty cool. <laughs> Working my way south through Osaka, I came upon Doton Bori. This place was lit like a Christmas tree with all the signs and neon. It is definitely one of the more densely populated areas of Osaka, with lots of locals and tourists alike. There's lots of dining, shopping, entertainment. You can find just about anything down here. This is Namba Yasaka Shrine, set in a neighborhood only a few blocks away from the downtown streets of Osaka. Its iconic lion head with the open mouth is said to swallow your evil spirits. It offers a nice getaway from all the commotion and chaos of downtown Osaka. For dinner, I stopped at Dining Stage Sakaya, which offers set dinners, sort of like a bento box. Had a very nice assortment of all sorts of dishes. And around the corner from that building was Abeno Takoyaki Yamachan Naba, which is known for its takoyaki. So this is takoyaki, which are batter balls that uh, contain an octopus. So there's the octopus surrounded by batter which is like molten lava, so you gotta be careful. Back in my hotel room, I opened up the box of assorted mochi, which had been gifted to me by my friend Anne from Thailand. They consisted of strawberry, kiwi, and grape, which were delicious. The next day, Anne and I grabbed lunch in Namba at a famous Japanese curry house known as Oratachi no Curry Ya Ramen Koji Labo. That's a mouthful. I got the chicken katsu curry, and she got the beef hot pot curry. Both dishes tasted great. Later on that evening, I met up with Yuna, my Japanese teacher from Osaka, who had taught me Japanese for the better part of a year prior to my trip. We met up for dinner at Yakiniku Horomon Sakagami Yuranamba. It's a somewhat casual spot with a relaxed atmosphere where they cook food for you table side. So 
肉焼いていくんですけど、このニンニクのタレが白だれの白だれのお肉のタレになります。That right there is thinly sliced beef tongue. Yuna. Hi. And squeeze. Yes. Okay. All right. Itadakimasu. <laughs> sure, because I'm missing my plate. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to do what you and the dip. Mm hmm. Going to uh, onion. Mm hmm. Onion. Uh, lemon. Lemon. <laughs> mm hmm. あ、うん。美味しいです。いや、良かった。